Police are investigating after a Baltimore City public school student was sexually assaulted and robbed on her way to school. And Caroline Forbeck joins us now live in Baltimore with the details tonight. Caroline. Yes, that's right. And a letter went out to parents of students at Connections School today, encouraging them to talk to their kids about safety after a female student was sexually assaulted and robbed at gunpoint. It is tragic that a young girl can't walk to school safely in the neighborhood where her family lives. It happened about a quarter mile from school. It's just unfortunate that someone chose to traumatize someone else today. The victim was walking to school along Tioga Parkway Friday morning when she was approached by a male suspect wearing all black clothing and a mask, according to Baltimore police. Police say the suspect pulled out a gun, sexually assaulted her, and then robbed her, taking her backpack and $24 cash. It's terrible out here. People would do anything and everything. People who live in the neighborhood say they're appalled. You would think all these cars uh, uh, would, would see it, but people just ride past like they don't care about what's going on with people. The principal of Connections, a community-based art school, sent out a letter to notify parents of the assault, saying the school is working with the family and assisting police in their investigation. I hope that they're able to catch the individual who did it. Principal Sidney Brooks also reminded parents to talk to their children about being aware of their surroundings and encourage students to walk with a buddy. I try to tell my children to be careful where they are, who they're with, don't go by yourself. But after hearing what happened, Jarrell Jett says he wouldn't feel comfortable letting his nieces and nephews walk to school at all. I'm walk with them. Come with them. This ain't to be played with no more. Anything can happen. Anything. Again, this happened on the 3000 block of Tioga Parkway. Anyone with information is urged to contact Baltimore City Police. Reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.